Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be talking about my opinion on Vader's War and why it was really doomed to fail in Season 12 with the cassettes, due not only to existent lore, but also the community itself and kind of the situation that was set up for the season. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> So let's start out by understanding the dilemma that Season 10 created. Adam's season opened the lore to the entire community, which was a massive win from the lore community's perspective, but also at the same time really acknowledged the situation that they could not reconcile really with the lore of the past. They could not really go into the, the lore that VSL and the lore community was really focused on. Um, the lore of the past being largely focused on Easter eggs and writing and map design and prop placement. And a lot of that writing has been lost. It was part of the original team, and it's now details that are just not available to the new team. The new lore is story-driven. It's about characters, and it's written by a whole new team, and they don't really know so really with solid evidence what the original story was. So this creates a situation where the, the, the old lore and the new lore are separate. They are not combined. Um, because the old lore, again, was a secondary focus. The game was still being made. It needed to be focused on, you know, not being horrible. Nowadays, lore can be a major focus of the game. Um, so th there isn't really a good connection between the old lore of the game and the new lore. So we have, you know, cassettes and we have map lore. And this system is a fine system if neither side of the system tries to interact with the other. If map lore stays in the maps and you know seasonal lore and cassette lore stays where it is um, because trying to interact with each other is just not going to work and that's really because they aren't built to work together they really aren't and trying to force them together is going to cause tons of retcons and tons of continuity issues very quickly which could undermine the entire point of the lore um, but we will get back to that perspective in a bit Adam Season does do more than just create this disconnect. It also creates a poorly made narrative of a stale character, which in my opinion has as much death as a Fallout 4 side quest, you know, like one of the ones Preston Garvey sends you on. The narrative of Ark in Season 10 is boring and stereotypical, and frankly, I think needs to be removed from continuity and really needs to be ignored. The, the Adam we're presented in Season 10 is very simple. He is very straightforward. No other character in that cassette is developed in any degree um, like at all. So it really creates this issue in the lore moving forward that, you know, you now have Ark and you have this faction. You have tons of things, but the writing around it, that original writing, the, the, the base, is just not good. It's too simple. It's, it's too... It's just bad. Um, so then we get to Season 11. Season 11, in my eyes, is the peak of the war. I know a lot of people complain about it, and I'm really probably going to need to make another video in the future just explaining why I view Season 11 as the peak of the war, despite a lot of people's opinions. But for now, just know, in my opinion, Season 11 is exactly how you avoid all of the issues in Vigorous War, you know, all the retcon possibilities and continuity issues and all of that, and you just deliver a good, interesting story with the complex characters that make sense with the environment. So how does this all prove that Season 12 had to fail? Well, to really understand, we must consider the reception to Season 11. Season 11, which in my opinion should be the lore fan's favorite due to managing to you know, not have anything wrong with it, did not get large positive feedback, and to a point was actually getting negative feedback. So the idea of having these individual narratives that develop the entire lore through personal stories that are well written has been rejected, despite that really being the best possible option for everyone. And why it was rejected is another thing I'm going to have to come back to in another video. But, to return to the point I made in the beginning, we also can't really touch the lore of the maps. And the lore of the maps is the lore of the war, the, the lore of why the nukes fell. So if you touch that, you're going to result in retcons and lore damage, and you're going to piss off the lore community even more. Or, if you don't piss off the lore community, you're going to have to send more people to work on the war, which they can't do. You know, they just don't have the resources to send, like, an entire lore team. I think the community would probably be pissed off if they did. So, in this situation, neither of these are options. You can't have these personal individual stories that are well-written and complex in isolated bubbles, and you also can't really have these stories of the war and the overall arc. So what can you do? Well, Ark and Adam. That's what you can do. That's really all you're left with. So we go back to Ark and Adam in Season 12. 
And that's why it falls apart so quickly, because you're dealing with horrible writing and you're trying to fix it. You're trying to make it interesting. You're trying to make it complex. And it's just not going to go well. I'm going to give season 12 some credit here. It managed, despite all odds, to make arc somewhat interesting. I mean, considering the arc we had in season 10 being this boring faction that is just, ugh, they're stereotypical good guys that, you know, walk around the Outlands doing good things to kind of a complex faction. It was nice, but it, it, it needed more work. Arc as a faction just simply needed to be redone from the ground up. And that's what I think really was tried to be done with season 12, and it just didn't work. Instead, we got an arc that's stupidly complex and not really logical or sensical in any meaningful way. And while I'm here, I want to talk about season 12 sci-fi aspects. I think they're an interesting point to me because I don't understand really the negative feedback towards them. Vigor's war has had sci-fi and mythology in it since day one. Fell God and Murder Shack were deeply mythological and magical in nature. But now it's only now we really have problems. You know, I understand we didn't really need a logical explanation to why Outlanders revived. And if you really think about the lore in general, up until this point, most of the time we just ignore the fact that Outlanders can revive. But this is probably the most closest thing to a logical explanation we could get to it. I mean, I want us all to consider that there was a point in the lore where many theorists sat down and tried to figure out how shootout was possible. And they concluded it was time loops. And when that happened, nobody really complained. Like, the theorists were like, okay, yeah, we're okay with time loops. But we draw a line in the sand and we're saying it's bad when, when there's revival involved. Which, you know, is less magical than time loops. And, and more scientific than time loops. And I understand that this isn't something we needed. And I don't think it was fine for us to get this explanation. I really don't think the explanation was needed. And I don't think the dev should have given us the explanation on why uh, they revived, really, ever. But I think what the curiosity for me is, is that the main problem people seem to have with season 12 is the sci-fi aspect, when I don't think that should be our main problem. This main problem should be season 12's writing was just not good. Season 12 complicated arc in a wrong way. Art shouldn't be viewed as the big bad evil, and it really shouldn't be viewed as perfection either. It should be nuanced. Think Fallout 76, I mean, um, Fallout New Vegas factions. They, they, there's no clear good or bad. There's the slightly better and the slightly worse, but no clear good and bad. And I think that's what they were aiming for with Art in Season 12, and it just didn't happen. Um, and I think also... There are other problems with Season 12, and I think eventually I'm going to have to sit down and make a, another dedicated video to Season 12 just talking about the issues and the nuances. But for now, that's really all I've got. I think Season 12 was destined to fail from the start. I really think there was no option or opportunity for the devs to create a season that was going to make everyone happy. Or even a season that was going to make anyone happy, to be honest. They, they kind of set them up, themselves up for failure. There was no real way to make the lore community happy, and there really was no way to make the general community happy, especially after the general community does not seem interested in complex narrative, um, which is just going to create a problem that's just not going to be able to be rectified. So what does this mean for season 13 and the lore moving on? Well, actually, that's going to be my next video. I hope you guys enjoy that when that comes out. And until that video comes out, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all then.